Yes, yes, Justin, for the PAL channel, as promised. We're at the very, very famous Cromwell Street, guys. Let's go and have a little wonder, shall we? And let's see what we can see. So, um, obviously, I'm a Gloucester boy. I remember when this all kicked off. I was working in the shop. I was about 15, I think, at the time. And um, it was one of those, really. It was one of those. It was all over the news. I swung down here basically at lunchtime um, to have a look basically at all the commotion because the police were outside for days guys they were pulling bodies out of this house um, and the garden for days basically um, so yeah I can remember coming up a few lunch times basically and um, just yeah seeing the police pull these um, boxes boxes out of the, uh, the houses and I was just you know at the time I was thinking what is that what is it saying it's one of those and then obviously looked at the news later and they told us it was like the body parts and stuff like that but yeah it's really really um really horrible time really as a as, as i only just started work as well so i do remember it but this is the this is the spot here guys okay so obviously as you can see you've got the church next door okay you've got the alley here so here is basically where the house was okay as you can see you know what I'm saying it is just it doesn't resemble so the front door would have been about here somewhere okay and as you go in you can just see little bits just under here I believe coming out now to the patio so this would have been the patio area I believe here and I think Fred's shed was somewhere around here still bits on the wall there were still markings they've tried to cover it up best they could but can you see this gray bit here I believe that is where Fred uh, Fred's basically his sort of um, little sort of workshop sort of shed was basically so as you can see they've completely concealed it up it's not it's not looking like there was ever a house here before guys so it's completely doesn't even resemble trying to keep people out of shot guys but yeah as you can see by where the other house is there it would obviously this would have been all the back area here and like I say we are standing in their garden we're standing in the, the west garden Fred and Rose West so what do you say about that so obviously um, I'll just pan around there for you killed 12 people five were in this garden here and then there was one in the cellar um yeah 12 murders between 1967 and uh, 1987 basically so quite a few um they were all women so you got anna mcfall she was found in the field charmaine west was at the other property guys i did the other um the other video on so charmaine west that was midland road renee west uh was uh found in much marple and you've got linda goff Carol Ann Cooper, Lucy Partington, Therese Sanghaller, Shirley Hubbard, uh, Janita Mott, Shirley Robinson was heavy pregnant as well, Heather West as well was his daughter and she was last seen June 19th 1987 guys so quite sad really, quite sad all in all, do you know what I mean, you can just like I say you can see bits but for all intents and purposes, if you walk down this alley, um, you wouldn't really think that this was the house of Fred and Rose West, really, to be fair. So, yeah. So, who, who, who was basically... So, there was the remains of the patio was about here there. Let's have a look. I'm just trying to have a look by my notes, guys, as well. So, under the patio, uh, Alison Chambers, is it Chamber? basically it's just yeah they were found over a few days as well so it wasn't just basically all pulled out in one day guys they had to sort of excavate I think they found a few in the garden the patio first and then they went into the house where the remain I think I think three were outside in the patio area um, and then the rest of them come out of basically the house but I hope you guys find this interesting 
like I say, it's just a little bit of history for you. I know that the other videos were very, very, very popular. So I just thought, well, why not? Why not? And this is basically the back of the properties here. As you can see, I try not to get uh, towed off too much. So yeah, you can see that's the back of the property here. And obviously it would have been, it would have been um, here. So yeah, so guys, I hope you enjoy that. Please like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more, because um, I can do a lot more than this. But yeah, it's all good. We'll do a little bit more of a detail tour here when I get a little bit more information because I've forgotten half of it, to be honest with you. Do you know what I'm saying? This was like years ago now, but it's weird how there's a church next door. Oh, and just a bit of information that you may, not, may or may not know. Fred actually knocked somebody down. He knocked a child down. He was an ice cream driver and he basically he knocked a child down and he killed him. Um, so yeah, the signs were all there, guys. The signs were all there. So from 25... Cromwell Street, Gloucester, which is no more. Peace, one love to you guys. Thanks for watching.